All right, time for another little video showing you some of my uh, issues with the 750 grain drill. Normally when I put the uh, the main seating rate on, um, I can have no problems. But when it comes to cover crops where there's a small amount of seeds per acre going down in terms of weight, um, I have to really adjust these seed cups, which are this width here on the row, which will go in and out depending on how I move this lever. And when it gets too narrow, the seeds start to pile up and they don't flow um, easily. So gear, what Deer does, they sell a kit, half-speed gears, um, which is, consists of two gears. And crucially, for, for my purposes, the part number changes by serial number. And I bought this set, which one of the two gears is fine for my serial number, but apparently I needed this gear, $300, um, which you can see there's a hole there. For, I don't know if it's going to show up, but a roll pin goes through that where it slips on the shaft. This gear is in place of that spur gear. Um, and then we're going to go over here and I'll show you the issue. That gear, the larger gear goes on top on the left, and then the smaller gear that I just showed you goes on in place of this one down here. And the issue becomes trying to get that gear on and off. There's a roll pin that goes through it and you've got to be able to knock it sideways um, to get at that shaft because the shaft comes through right here on the end and the roll pin goes through that shaft so the roll pin's perpendicular to the shaft. Um, the issue is how do I get a, a punch in there to, uh, to deal with that? And then the other issue was, I don't know if you can see, but I modified this cover. See a little tab I welded there? Normally this sits right down in here. But in order to get that gear out, this one, you have to pull it straight out, and it won't come out because the space between this shaft and the side was so small, you can't get the gear out without cutting this. So this is all by way of saying this was the difficulty I faced when trying to switch right before I planted and drilled the cover crop. Um, had no problems with the wheat with the normal size gearing, but when I wanted to try to use... The smaller gears, not only did I have the wrong part, but to put that part on and off would just be, I want to say a nightmare, but trying to get in there and then you have to get new roll pins every time and you're pounding on it and there's got to be a better way. So that's what I'm trying to come up with, some kind of little press to press that roll pin out um, in order to go to the... the smaller gear, the different gear when I have to really dial the uh, the rate down. And essentially what this, these half-speed gears do, and instead of having, let's say, a half-inch slit or a quarter-inch slit in this seed cup, um, you, could, you could double that size, that width of that seed cup, because the gears are only turning at half the speed. It lets you flow, flow a little bit better, and you get more sensitive, because I was down here on this scale at like seven or eight when it goes up to 60 and it, it's not very sensitive there's a lot of slop in it and and it's just very very um it was a challenge so i'm, I'm hoping this video kind of makes sense um but it's something i want to work on in addition there's various wear parts on this drill that are going to need replacing the gauge wheels the uh openers the seat openers um, there's various parts with the seed boots that need to be replaced as well, and, and that will all happen um, at this point next spring before we use it to drill uh, the peas. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, try not to get too jerky here, but um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good drill. It's worked well for me, but it just, it just needs some attention to work even better. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.